Sciences of Magic, an Introduction Magic has many meanings that are shaped by perceptions, personal experiences, beliefs, and cultural influences. This means that magic has many meanings to many different people. When I speak of magic, I am talking specifically about the actions which take advantage of the many forces, laws, and principles that naturally exist as the inner workings of the universe. Magic depends upon the many forces, laws, and principles that exist within our universe, our world, our bodies, our minds, and our consciousness. Without these many forces, laws, and principles that naturally exist as part of the inner workings of the universe and ourselves, there would be no magic. When there exist consistent ways in which forces behave in the universe, whether it be the forces within an atom, the forces within an organism, the forces within an animal, or the forces within a great star or galaxy, if that behavior is consistent in some way, and if that same behavior can always be identified, we call this behavior a law or a principle. Magic unfolds as a result of forces, laws, and principles in motion, triggered by the intention to manifest desired change or the desire to interact with the rest of nature, the world, or the universe, the manner of gaining knowledge, wisdom, and experience. Within our consciousness lies many natural forces, laws, and principles which grants us access to our magical abilities. Magical abilities are the natural forces, laws, and principles that are alive within our consciousness, which can be utilized to access greater laws and forces within ourselves, within others, within the world, and within the universe. There are a great many laws and principles involved in the understanding of magic and magical abilities. To fathom the depths of magic and one's own extraordinary abilities, one must learn the fundamental laws and principles which governs the creation. First law or principle forces are everywhere. The first principle is fundamental. It is that there are many forces that exist in our universe. There are many forces involved in the creation and sustenance of the universe. There are many forces involved in the creation and sustenance of the earth, our bodies, and all life everywhere in the universe. The universe, for instance, is a building block of many atoms and atomic forces that are conjoined as one making up a working body or system. Atoms are the forces that are intelligently joined together to give shape and form to our universe, to our world, our bodies, and as you will learn, our minds. Atoms are also forces. There are forces everywhere. All things are made of forces and find their existence as a result of forces. Forces are joined to make other new forces. Forces can either be great or forces can be subtle. Forces can either be obvious or forces can be subtle and elusive. Forces can come and forces can go. Forces can undergo change and forces can become imbalanced. Forces make the whole universe. Forces are everywhere. Second law or principle is action, movement, and vibration. The second law or principle is that all forces are in motion. All forces are in a state of activity. There is no such thing as a force that exists but does nothing. All forces that exist are already in action doing what that force was meant to do. All forces are at work driving some system, some form of process, or some form of function. Nothing acts without some form of driving force, and since the universe is alive, it is filled with many forces that are enlivening it. Forces are always in motions and vibrations. The third law or principle is the interrelationship and interconnectedness of all forces. The universe, the earth, our very bodies, the air we breathe, down to the tiniest of particle, is made up of many forces. Those forces are together at work in harmony and balance with each other. There are many laws or principles at work in the universe. These laws, these principles are controlling and governing how, when, where, and why forces act and behave. Regardless of where in the universe those forces may be, 
whether in an atom, in the body, or within stars, if any of these forces were to become imbalanced in any critical way. This would result in a chain of events that would further result in death of that system. This proves that there is an intricate level of interrelationship and interconnectedness of the many forces that are together at work in the creation and universe. All forces are interconnected. Remember, when there exist consistent ways in which forces behave in the universe, whether it be the forces within an atom, the forces within an organism, the forces within an animal, or the forces within a great star or galaxy, if that behavior is consistent in some way, and if that same behavior can always be identified, we call this behavior a law or a principle. Within our introduction, it is important to understand why a knowledge of the forces within yourself is of critical importance. The forces that are joining the whole universe together are those same forces that are in entanglement with your matter, energy, and consciousness. Those forces that flow through you are also a part of you. When you misuse those forces inside of you, there are many consequences. When forces within the mind are set into motion, there are many reactions in turn that are set into motion within matter and consciousness. There are laws of the mind, laws of the universe, and laws of consciousness. These laws of the mind and the laws of the universe are interconnected and are together in harmony and balance. In every moment, the common person, untrained in principles of magic, are triggering and setting into motion many forces in the universe. The average person in our world today are in complete ignorance of the laws of causation. Much of the forces set into motion by the average mind results in many reactions of consequences in the world of spirit, yet modern people are unaware and never notice the results happening as a result of the interconnectedness of mind, matter, and consciousness. A great many common people are of common minds. They do not understand nor recognize the laws of cause and effect. Many such people, if not all the common people, do not see the unseen connections between energy, matter, and consciousness. The first steps in becoming a real magician is having knowledge of the many laws that govern the many forces of action that originate from the plane of causation. Magic is the action of forces present within the consciousness that when triggered into activity causes a secondary influence within the world of spirit. Such influences within the world of spirit later emerge from the world of spirit to interact with the world of matter, governed by the law of attraction and the law of intent. The reason the average person does not recognize these laws and principles is that these laws, these principles, are intangible and unseeable. In our next series of video, we will continue to look at the laws and principles that are driving the living universe and our consciousness. We will also look precisely at the ways in which we offend these laws and principles within ourselves and our universe as well as the kinds of karmic imbalances that emerge. Karma, of course, is another law and principle that governs the upset of balance, and you will learn exactly how and why certain forces are binding you to the world of matter. Subscribe to the channel, turn your notifications on, and get ready for navigating the ethereal world of the unknown with this first part series of the sciences of magic.